though, boys. Oh, right. Uh, Redneck from North Carolina. Anyway, y'all, what's up? Anyway, I thought we'd do a little teardown video. I haven't done one in a while. I got this today. Uh, it's a uh, Citex uh, Marine transponder for a satellite. And it came with this nice thick cable here with, shoot, this mega expensive connector on one end. And, well, after I used my pocket knife, this mega expensive one on the other end. Focus, please. Anyway, used to go into not there, but the other side. So I've, I've not really looked at this yet. I just uh, have taken the screws out so I could let you see what it looks like. It goes on top of a pretty big fishing boat. It's marine. Everything here that you see is all stainless. Uh, the little links. Actually, that's aluminum there, but uh, hang on. Focus. Anyway, we'll try not to make this too long of a video. These links... In a minute, you'll see what they're for. And uh, all these screws that came out of there are all stainless. Anyway, we'll take the top off. Try to do everything with one hand here. I'm working on limited light. Wish I had some more light. Well, soon, we shall have some more light in the shop here. We have our nautical fishing map up and our crustacean locator and our drawers and we're working on it you know we're gonna get we're gonna fix the excavator soon anyway we won't make this too long we do have the uh soundboard out tonight and uh we're jamming to pink floyd anyway i'm gonna turn that off before uh david gilmore comes to get me and uh a little more light there <clears throat> anyway Cytex uh transponder all right, you have to bear with me. I'm doing this with one hand. Here's the lid. Not too exciting. Probably PVC looks like from the way it's uh, yellowed there and it's still white there. Speed, speed nuts are still... Yeah, whatever. All right. Um, <clears throat> so here's what we got inside. Let me get a seat. Hang on, guys. I'm going to have to film this. I'm going to have to get me a seat. Give me a cooler to sit on here. Let me get you a look at it. Here is the antenna. Interesting looking. Very smooth action. Looks like it has some, not a stepper motor, but a, looks like a, not really a synchronous motor, but I don't know how to explain it the way it feels, but you can see the big Molid, Molly uh, gear there. Uh, it's plastic. And then uh, there's the antenna. I would guess runs on uh, uh, short wave or, uh, or like a short wave, like a microwave or a little bit bigger than that. Um, all aluminum. As you'd see in a magnetron antenna in a microwave as we've all taken apart a thousand times. So let's look at the, uh, I guess this is the shielding to keep it from going down into your head when it's being operated. There's a shield here. All I did was take the uh, shields off. This is aluminum, which is good for aluminium. My friends across the pond. Uh, anyway, there's one. And we'll take off the, um, the other one that's warning me. I uh, have to be real careful here. Should I put gloves on? I think I should put gloves on. It says, yeah, I really should. Oh, wait, never mind. Okay, so uh, what you got here is another uh, shield. Let me look kind of cool on the shop wall. Yeah, anyway, we'll hang that up over there somewhere or whatever, but uh, no smoking. Anyway, there's uh, just, I don't know what, uh, what would you call that uh, overseas? Maybe three, four mil aluminum? Here it would be Hell, I don't know, 16th of an inch, I guess, whatever. Anyway, there's that. And uh, <clears throat> here's a look inside. Nice little synchronous motor. A bunch of wires going into the motor. Not really sure why. Maybe one to s two to sense the, the uh, position. And then maybe there's two speeds, I guess. Anyway, there you have that. In here, I guess, would be the RF box. Um, aluminum. Looks like she's made by Toshiba, made in Japan. 
Here's the uh, PCB. Looks like some voltage regulation going on there. A couple of caps. They're Nichicon, not swollen. Uh, some chokes, filters. Uh, I guess there's a high voltage uh, transformer there. Yeah, there's a couple of, I guess those are FETs. Nice coolers on there and you know, service mount caps down in there. I guess that's the filter there. Power supply right there. Anyway, let's turn it around here and uh, I am not sure what that is. It's a very strong magnet in there. It says caution. Very strong magnet. Uh, I'm not sure what that is and I'm not sure. I guess that that says Toshiba on it down there. That would probably be the actual, I guess, the type of magnetron that, that makes the power to go up to the antenna assembly. So look, I don't know if this comes out. All I did was unscrew a bunch of screws. Thought y'all might like to see the inside of something weird like this. I'm down at the coast. We get this weird shit all the time. Of course, it doesn't want to come out. I've got to pull this connector out with one hand if I can. And what else we got plugged in over here? The motor assembly. There we go. Alright, let's take a look at this first. Ah, if it ever wants to come out. There's another one there. Looks like a ground. Alright, so let's look at this first. Yeah, another one. Um, RGNC14, whatever that means. Anyway, let's look at this first underneath here. Very, very stout assembly. You see that? Doing this from my iPhone, y'all. So it may not be super clear like some of your favorite friends on videos. Keep 25 millimeters from steel or magnets. Well, I hope that that is 25 millimeters. That's what she said. Anyway, um, that's just the, uh, I'm not really sure what that is. There's a number on it. Got this out of a dumpster today from an old, the old town of Sneeds Ferry fishing village. And I thought it looked cool. I can make a video of it. I guess I could open this RF box here for you, but it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a pain to do with one hand. So let's try it. I got this out of a dumpster too, the old Makita. And I bought a battery for it, and it had one in it that's still good, and I bought a charger for it. So let's see if we can do this with one hand. I don't want to make this video too long. Make short work of everything. Anyway, those other links I was telling you about, that, like that one right there, we're linking those two uh, plates together Those uh, that I just showed you that were, you know, don't touch them, high voltage. i got to make this video a little faster. I know it's going to get long, but there's a lot of stuff to look at here. Anyway, we'll look inside of this RF box. And then we'll uh, we'll look at the PCB down on the bottom. Sorry. Oh crap! Looking through the. All right, let's see what's in here real quick for you guys. A lot of you may not have seen this side of here. I just took that off right there. Very cool. I have no idea what's going on in here. I had a macro setting on this camera. Well, not camera, but iPhone. Anyway, that's what's inside the uh, transmitting box there. Some uh, coils and some uh, caps and some... What the hell is that? Well, that chip right there says... I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, yeah, you can. TC4069UBP, looking at that from here. And there's a Motorola up there. Two Motorola's, Motorola. The bottom one I don't recognize, it's Japanese made. Anyway, that's the uh, main unit, and here's the action of it. There's, here's the bottom of the motor. Oh, it is a stepper motor. Well, we're gonna have to keep that. Cool. There you go. Anyway, let's look at the, before it gets too long here, let's look at the PCB. Anyway, here's the, here's the plate on it. I don't know if you can read this. FCC ID, which doesn't really mean much. But, uh, Cytex. And here is the, uh, 
I'm not going to take that little cover off right there. There's probably just a bunch of them little chips under there. So I just wanted to let you look at this real quick. That would make a good video. Nice heat sinks there. I'm going to do more teardowns. I haven't done any of these in a while, and they seem to get a lot of views. You want to look underneath that plate right there? Let's do it. I'm not sure. There's nothing really underneath this one there. That's just a shield, I guess. Okay, you want to look underneath that one? Let's do it. Get the old Makita out here. Focus, please. And, uh, there we go. I'll do it. Just give us a little. Oh, what is that? Mmm, socketed. Uh, Coden, it says made in Japan, and that chip there. If I can get it to focus. Neat. All right, let's uh, pull it out and take a look at it. Since it ain't in a socket, I don't want to break my freaking hand. Hang on. Okay. Makita, you're made in Japan too. You can get it out of there. See a lot going anywhere. Good God! Anyway, you'll take my word for it. Focus. Oh, it's a Motorola. Hmm. Those are all Toshiba there. Anyway, that's the uh, base of it. I don't know if you got to see the bottom. That's what it looks like there. It's a uh, satellite transponder for finding fish. And here's the antenna and the stepper motor. Thought you might like to see that. Thought it would make a good video. I'll try to find more stuff soon. Will you please focus? She's not going to. Sorry guys, I must have crap on the lens on my phone. I'm really struggling, there we go. But uh, very smooth action. We're gonna get that stepper up there. I wish, if anybody has any idea what that is, let me know. Take care guys, thanks for watching.